hello and welcome today's video is all about beans yeah beans and bean cake now these are brown beans we grew up eating this like a saturday delicacy and we call this akara the ghanaians call this kosi it's a fried deep fried bean cake yes and we're trying to make this healthier less inflammatory because we're reducing the trans fat now this is how i wash my beans i love peeling them myself but guys if you can't be bothered to do this you can buy already peeled beans okay buy already peeled ones soak them and give them a good rinse because you get the saponins off but just ensure you don't use powdered ones unless you make the beans fly yourself we start with some hot peppers onions and you can use this is called tatashe not a bell pepper just pop it on in your blender and i'm going to be chopping this in the blender just using really low speed and i've had that chopped up nicely we set this aside can you see how well this is chopped if your blender won't chop this no water has been added then you use a mortar and pestle can you see the water level there okay don't go above the beans now i'm using a vitamix it's a strong blender this is no advert this is my best blender if you don't have a vitamix use really smaller portions of beans and little water at a time okay I'll share a tip I use with my blender. So if you have to start with a lot of water, that's fine. Blend and then as it blends and the vortex is formed, my blender has a little cap there, which I can open. Then I just add, so I'll just show you. I'll just start the blender again. Next, we add our paste and just let it work. Can you see how fluffy this is looking now? Okay. The only thing we season akara with traditionally is a bit of salt and obviously our onion, our onion mix. So this is the point where you add this, just your onion and peppers that were chopped. So this is it. This is it. This is our batter. You see how fluffy it is the same consistency you have your cake batter right and now it's time to fry this is where everyone runs away because the difference between akara today and how our ancestors in africa ate it was the trans fats palm oil was generally used traditionally in cooking akara palm oil is really healthy okay forget about all the things about you know the climate and deforestation palm oil in africa is sustainable and we grow it because it's a food crop not just a cash crop so now we're using something called a dutch pancake pan that's it that's what we'll be using in place of deep frying it's a cast iron pan try not to use a non-stick okay non-stick pans are toxic okay i can't overemphasize that now all you need to do make sure it's well seasoned once your pan is well seasoned try using something like avocado oil just to lightly grease the pan okay we're not deep frying remember we're just cooking this and make sure your pan is heated on medium heat and then we're just gonna add that okay guys now this thing is ready this is on the hob now it comes out not fully cooked as you can see but what I do, I just pop this in the oven and finish it off. And look at that. Fluffy, delicious. Flipping is so easy. Look, flip. Can you see? Can you see how evenly this thing is cooking? It's not. If you try one like that one and it's not moving, just go to another one. By the time you've gone round, the whole lot will shift. Naturally non-stick, okay? Naturally non-stick. It's cast iron, little oil, and you can still enjoy your akara, akara, and akamu today, Saturday's breakfast, guys. The full video is going to be on YouTube. Follow me on YouTube. Find me. I am Mecca's Healing Journey now on YouTube, so you can find me on YouTube, Mecca's Healing Journey, showing you how I've transitioned from eating inflammatory foods to low inflammatory foods, healing fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue. Yes, guys, you can do it. You can do it. It's not gonna taste like your crunchy deep fried ones about, but this one is a healthy, healthier alternative to deep fried. No, not heavily trans fat. And I'm actually using some olive oil here. So 
Hey ho! Thank you guys for watching. This is the finished product, guys. This is so delicious. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you in another one. Bye!